Welcome back to another video, stripping down DeWalt battery packs for your tools. Uh, these ones are the 12 and 9 Ampers. Out of the 12 Ampers you get the 4 Amp 2170s and the 9 Ampers you get the 3 Amp 2170s. And these brands are the IRNs. I pulled a lot of these apart to see that that's what comes out of these. Also, very similar is going to be the 18650 formats, and these are typically 6 amperes with 2 amp cells in each. So, let's get some apart and just show you what's involved in stripping them down. On each side of the case, on both format batteries, you got 4 screws on each side using the T10 driver, which has a hole in the center for the little hole, nipple on these screws though. Pry these grey bits apart. You could either throw it against the concrete gently or use a flat screwdriver and gently put it in there and just pry it apart. It releases this. Then you've got another six more screws. Four this side, two that takes care of the top plastic and two down the bottom and two on there, up the top there. This being a relatively clean battery, should be easy to get the top housing off. So that should pop up, maybe easy. Just like that, or you can still put a screwdriver in there and cover it up. And I am got a little e-waste container down here for all the nuts, bolts, and nickel strip. So that's essentially case off. And I'm just getting in to all the nickel strips. Now the 20 uh, 18650s, the six ampers, are very similar. I only pulled a few apart. What I found is one screw here and one screw there gets that top bit off so it's a bit more stubborn sometimes it works under here and other times just pry it in here when you do that be careful you might short something out and you get a nice spark So that's down to the skin off. So the principle the same on each. First I try to remove the BMS and if you have a look, certainly on this side, on that, you've got the little, uh, I guess they're for fusing if something really bad happens, but you cut them there, cut them there, using a these two. I try to prioritize using that because these are, can be very flim, flimsy and break easy. So that's to clean up the batteries more so. So, same uh, same thing on the bigger pack. When you cut this, you've got to be careful because if you go like this, you see, it gets sparked quite easily. So the idea is cut them, the ribbon here, or what I assume is the balancing ribbon I use this one you can get a spark doing this just the same but not as easy so you release that side pull that back and that's where you can cut that off the same or pry it off or whichever works once again careful when you do this you want to be gentle because you don't want to damage the cells if you yank too hard or put too much force you will damage the cells so when you release one side I 
I just like to cut this off. So the principle is exactly the same with the 18650 packs. mess gone now get into it so once again like I said when you're on this side or the other side doesn't matter which one first you're trying to get the nickel strips off you just got to be careful you don't want to pull that across the short against the other side I'm sort of racing this just a little bit because right, the camera always makes you do things different. One side done. And you can see relatively clean, but there's still a lot of tags left. That's where you be careful. You clean them up later. Because you go to the other side now, do the same. Now, in saying that, I won't say that you would not get a spark out of this now, but I've never got one. Anything can happen, but I cannot see how. What I like about these DeWalt cases are you can put a lot of leverage on them and you're not going to damage the cell directly like you would if there was nothing on there when you go on it and it pushes hard into that case like into there can't happen because you've got this case in the way That's what's done now. Now to remove the black casing, might need a screwdriver to pry that off. That's gone and sometimes a screwdriver but gently to push them out from the inside, other side. And you 
can get the middle ones okay when you get to the edges. You just got to pull them in to release them the easiest way. Now a lot of people don't like these power tool batteries. I don't, opposed to the laptop, because they can be time consuming pulling them apart. With the right tools and a bit of playing around to understand how they come apart, I've just now got 15, 15 cells out of one pack, rather than a laptop, maybe six. And the higher success rate with battery tools. I've stripped out about 470 of these sizes now out of those battery packs of the 2170s. And I'm only throwing out 20, maybe 25 sales out of all those. Whereas laptops, you throw out somewhere in the 20 cent mark. Anyway, that's just a quick video just to show that process with the DeWalt tools. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe.